Well, uh, since our last interview, uh, Nipsey's brother, Black Sam did interview. Finally broke his silence, sat down with Big Boy, and talked about everything, man. You know, uh, did you watch the interview? The whole thing. What'd you think? I mean, I've been waiting to hear. I've been waiting to hear him speak since it happened. Like, I've been waiting for that. I Honestly, I'm mad Big Boy beat me to it, man. I wanted that to be one of my first interviews out the gate. Like, I was like, Big Sam don't talk to nobody. Like, you know what I mean? But it was dope, though. I've been waiting to hear. I've been waiting to hear that story for a while now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Any particular parts stick out? Um, I like the part when they was like, you know what I mean? When, when he was just telling the, the part about them growing up and where they started from and, you know what I mean, the, the trials and tribulations they was going through just trying to keep the T-shirts going and just trying to get some money and all the losses that they took, like, you know what I mean? Because a lot of this, a lot of this I heard in Nip's music, like, if you listen to Nip music, Nip spoke about a lot of this shit, but, like, it was all through the music, but finally hearing Sam really sit down and tell the whole story from his point of view, like we already, we always heard Nip point of view, but we finally got to hear Black Sam and it was dope, it was dope. Did you ever meet Nipsey? Yeah, I know Nip, hell yeah. Okay, hell how'd yeah. you guys meet? Uh, through Big U actually. Big U was uh, my first, my very first manager when I started rapping. It was, uh, he was working, he was doing some work with Big U on a magazine they was doing at the time. It was called Fresh Buzz Magazine. My boy Lonnie McNeil. And um, I was just telling him, he was like, man, who who you fuck with in the rap? Like, who you fuck with? Like, who'd you want to do a feature with? Well, I told him, Nip. Like, he like, yeah, I'm like, man, that nigga whore. Like, from the first time I heard him, I'm like, this nigga whore. Like, I just seen, I just seen something with him. Like, you know what I mean? And, you know, Big U ended up making it happen. And, you know, we I went to the studio. The Nip told me to come up to the studio and fuck with him. So I went to the studio. We kicked it and all this shit. And then um, after that, we just, like, we just had a professional relationship. Like, you know, we, like, we performed at a lot of the same shows and, like, you know what I mean? A lot of events. I'll be there, he there. Like, you know what I mean? Shit like that. We didn't, like, hang out and smoke weed together and shit, but just professional, like, we had a respective, re you know what I mean, professional relationship. With him being from the 60s and you being from Inglewood, like, do you guys' hoods get along, or, or you know, how did that I work? I mean, not, not technically. Like, technically, we, like, ops. We would be ops, but, you know what I mean? Like, we out the same section, too. So it's like, like, being out the same section, a lot of people gonna know a lot of the same people, and, a lot of us connect in different ways, even though we come from opposite sides, we still, it's like, like, you know what I mean? Like, like his, his, you know what I mean? It's just like we connect in a lot of ways and, and coming from the same area. So I think like us coming from the same area and the way we met, like it was kind of like with Big U ushering it in and kind of like, you know what I mean? I think it just, we had that that mutual respect for each other, and then we both Leos, like you know what I mean. He he a Leo too, so we kind of connected on that level too. So you know what I mean. Did you ever any any backlash or anything? Or your homies ever tell you anything for doing no, hell it? No, hell no. Mm -mm. Why do you think Nipsey was able to work with so many people that, you know, maybe other guys maybe can't do? Like I, I interviewed G Perico and. You know, they work together too. You'd mentioned earlier about like the gangster card and the neighborhood card not really getting along. How did that Don't get along at all. Work with Nipsey. It didn't matter? Nah, like you know, um at certain points, like even when I was little, it's always an exception to the rule. Like like for instance, like my homies like arch enemies, well when I was growing up today it ain't really like that, but like East Coast. Them was like our rivals, like on the east side, Broadway versus East Coast. You know what I'm saying? But it was a like our main hangout, it was the dude, the nigga whack from seven six East Coast stayed next door. And like I used to sleep in his house and shit. But he was the real deal. He was the real East Coast, you know what I'm saying? So it's always exceptions to the rules, you know what I mean? And um 
like I guess me and Nip was a like an exception. You know what I'm saying? He we was like similar people. You know what I mean? From our size. Real fuck with real. When you a real nigga and, and you want some and, and your your intentions is is pure and genuine and you ain't no no bullshit, like a lot of niggas gonna respect that and be receptive to that. It's like me, like I was you know what I mean? Like niggas look at me like a blood and lump. Like, like, like I'm big blood, you know what I mean? Like I'm one of the top bloods and I'm like, nigga, I don't push like that. Like I got, I got so many Crip homies, like you wouldn't even like believe it. Like I, I, I talk to more Crips on the phone, like in, in the course of a day than I do bloods. Like I just, you know what I mean? Like, like when I'm in Vegas, one of my main dudes I fuck with when I go to Vegas, shout out to my nigga Lil Bop. My nigga Lil Bop, like he a Crip, he a Compton Crip, but I fuck with that nigga like, like more than I fuck with my own homies when I'm out there in Vegas. Like, you know what I mean? I pull up on him. I, I go to Vegas and don't even pull up on the homies. I go to Vegas and be running around with Bop the whole weekend. Like, you know what I mean? It just, but I grew up like that. Like, I got my close relatives. Like, you know what I mean? It's Crips, and you know, so we. I always kind of had that different edge to me, like, you know what I mean? Like, I always, I only focused on the Crips we was beefing with, like, whatever, whoever we was beefing with, that's, you know, that's what it was, but as far as, like, everybody else, they ain't had nothing to do with it, so I always was open-minded in that aspect, like. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon, so hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.